Hello everybody, welcome back to the world of me. My name's Cougar and this is another episode from the, well, the Amazon review series as well as the camping and survival series. As you can see, we are still at the campsite here and I got myself a new product in. Uh, it is actually something that my buddy that I'm here with uh, suggested and that is this here, this insulated air core ultra by Big Agnes. Uh, and as you can see, it is a lightweight compact three season uh, pad. Comes with a, a little uh, bag there for inflation uh, to help you with that instead of just blowing it yourself. And uh, we've got a few little pieces of information here. Uh, let's see, so we have the uh, sack right there and uh, that uh, has an end on it that you can plug in and use that to uh, help inflate it instead of, uh, well, blowing your lungs out. Uh, especially, you know, somebody with emphysema, that would help considerably, I'm sure. Uh, there are two valves on this, a high flow valve and then a, uh, basically a, uh, a low, a low flow valve, uh, something that can kind of, you know, give you the firmness that you want and you can do like micro adjustments I guess with it uh, they have their guarantee uh, and they are talking about making sure that it is uh, functional dependable product if you're not satisfied when you get it you can return it uh, for a full refund uh, also if it doesn't of course uh, perform like it should be and then Big Agnes talks about uh, a little bit about the name of their company they have it information in multiple languages as you can see there there are uh, about four yeah it looks like about four languages there uh, three of those being some type of oriental five sorry so three of those being oriental uh, one looks like it's uh, I, looks like that's French actually, and then it looks like this is actually German, so I'm guessing this stuff is telling you what the rest of this says, like this right here. Now we've got some information that talks about, you know, what exactly its, uh, its qualities are. Uh, three and a quarter inches thick, with three and a half inches on the sides to kind of cradle you. Uh, it says an I-beam construction, uh, so it is lighter and provides uh, consistent stability. Uh, thermal light insulation, so, uh, and reflective film, so I'm guessing that's some stuff that's inside of it. Uh, maybe something similar to that of, uh, of like a space blanket. Uh, we also have, um, it talks about the fact that it's durable lightweight nylon double ripstop bottom uh, we've got an aviation grade TPU lamination uh, so increase the strength of it there quieter materials uh, antimicrobial treatment uh, and then uh, individually inflated and tested at our factory ensuring 100% quality performance so they actually already tried this out and then here's a list of course of all the different sizes the size that I got was the 20 by 72 so uh, 20 just just under two two feet wide uh, and right there at six feet long which is just fine for me uh, so let's go ahead and get this out uh, I am going to be using this inside of my hammock and uh, part of that is so that my hammock doesn't wrap me up like a banana but the other part of that is because it's getting colder uh, and uh, we're getting nights where the temperature is really dipping down into those, uh, well, the single digits of Celsius or the roughly the 20 and low 30 degrees, well, 30 degrees and then low 20s, so actually even negative Celsius, uh, but 20s or so in uh, Fahrenheit. But uh, we'll go ahead, blow it up, take a look at it inside the, uh, maybe inside the hammock and everything. Alright guys, so I haven't inflated it just yet, but this is this is what it is coming out of the packaging. Uh, 
folded over and whatnot. We've got the two air vents there. We've got the assistment, assisting kind of airbag and uh, the back end is open. And uh, this is actually made out of the same material as this is. This is not always the same color. It just happens to be that this one is. So, um, you know, we can see that. But as you can see, it, it looks basically just like a bag, like, you know, you're going to carry groceries or something in, I guess. And uh, because of the air sealing in it, you kind of scoop the air, roll it up, and then it captures the air and pushes it out through the nozzle, as I understand. That way it saves you a few breaths in terms of trying to blow this up yourself. Uh, it does also come in a stuff bag here and it has the simple pull string with the little uh, spring-loaded keeper there as well as on the other side it does have a little kind of handle type thing so as long as you have that pull string pulled tight maybe throw a loose knot on it that you can pop back off once that's pulled tight and the keepers pulled tight then uh, you can kind of carry it around just like this or just using the strap uh, on the bottom of the bag. Uh, let's go ahead and get this blown up and uh, take a look at what, what it looks like. Alright guys, so uh, here it is all blown up there. And uh, like I said, it is roughly, well it's six foot long. Um, now... I don't know how well you can see that because it isn't very big difference. It's only a quarter of an inch, but these center ones are a little bit smaller than the outside ones like they mentioned. And here's what it looks like there. Here's the fill. Uh, and actually there you've got the one, this one says in, that other one says out. This one has like a little pressure release thing. You can push this little like button thing right in there, right in the middle, and it will, uh, kind of depress the rubber seal there and let some air out if you want it out and you don't want it as firm. Uh, if you want it firmer, obviously don't do that. Uh, this isn't obviously super tight, but when it goes into the hammock, I don't need it super tight. Uh, I do need it to be reasonable, but if it's super tight, then it uh, the hammock doesn't lay quite right. Now, something else I did miss, um, when I uh, was showing you the other stuff was this right here. It does come with a small uh, service patch kit. Uh, this little thing right here, uh, the little red thing, that is actually the little pressure release valve. Uh, and then we've got a small and a large uh, patch here. So if you do happen to uh, puncture this in some way, shape, or form, uh, you have something to patch it with. Uh, now, obviously, when you use this, if you're going to use it on the ground, suggestion is that uh, you have a ground sheet and you clear the area of debris so that you don't have a bunch of sticks uh, or anything like that sticking up. Make sure you don't have any roots sticking up out of the ground or rocks or any of that kind of thing uh, to make sure that you take care of this. Uh, but uh, yeah, otherwise, I think this is going to be really nice. Uh, let's see, go ahead and stick it in my hammock right now, actually. And uh, the hammock all set up here and been ready for this thing to be put into it. So there we go. Now the hammock is being held open a little bit um, by this, and that's going to make it a lot nicer for me. Uh, so that it's not trying to squish me like a, uh, and wrap me up like a banana. Um, which, I mean, obviously hammocks kind of do that, especially when they don't have the little spreaders at the end there. Um, this one is not designed for that, as you can see. But, uh, it looks pretty good. I think that is going to work very nicely. Uh, it's going to keep the back of me much warmer. Uh, and then with my sleeping bag in here, I can go down to much colder temperatures because of this. As you can see on the box, this is rated for basically um, spring and winter weather. Um, I'm sure you could use this just fine in summer, but as it said, it does have that kind of reflective material. 
and it, that should be on the underside of it so it will reflect that up through this and to you so if you're putting off heat and it's summertime and it's hot obviously you don't really want that anyhow if you guys want to check this out it's going to be down there in the description below there will also be the link to this uh, or to my social media down there obviously you've got linktree and then all the others and the paypal link in case you guys would like to help out the channel and uh, kind of keep me going on getting things like this so i can show you what this stuff is and then also on your way down or on your way back up don't forget to hit that thumbs up button hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you know when i've got new videos coming out here on world of me all right, everybody. Well, that'll do it for me today. This has been another episode from the Camping and Survival and Amazon Review Series uh, for both of those. And, uh, you know, I'd like to wish you all a good day, and I will see you later. Bye.